Anyways. But yeah, I guess my list wouldn't be that much different. Like, I would put Skies, Skies of Arcadia. I know it's not exclusive, but the remake is kind of better. And PSO2, also not exclusive. <laughs> Jeez. I have the same problem with this guy, I guess. Oh, what happened? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven I, I never really, really play Paper Mario, so... I wouldn't put that, but just because I don't know. And of course, is, there's also a difference of, like, the best games versus my favorite games. Because again, I think Wind Waker is such a great game, but I don't like to play it. I just don't like to play it. I played it when I was young, I tried to play it again, like, three years ago, and it was such a bad experience. Like, I felt it so slow. I'm not even talking about uh, navigating in the boat. Like that, that part actually felt good. It felt as good as, as it was when I was a child. What it felt really off on the game was the dungeons. I felt like dungeons were super tedious and like, I don't know, I didn't like the puzzles. It was super weird, like I, I can't explain it more than that. Like I still enjoy to watch speedruns of that game. But I do not want to play it again. Same shit happened to me with Star Fox Adventures. I absolutely loved that game when I was young. Probably because it was one of the few ones I had at first on the GameCube. <laughs> and then I replay it again, again, like probably three years ago, and it was that game was pretty bad. <laughs> You say in Zelda's? Yeah, my Yoshi's Mask is such a great one. Like, I, I feel probably I would choose Ocarina, but just because I played more. But definitely for me, Ocarina and Majora are essentially at the same place. I also like Twilight Princess, even while I'm on the, that state that I played a long time ago and I don't remember a lot about it. So I don't know if I replay it, maybe I'm not gonna like it that much. Like what it happens with Wind Waker. <laughs> Same thing happened with Minish Cap. I played Minish Cap on emulator because I never really have a portable console. I really like it. Yeah, I hear that. Like, you know what? I also have a friend that really likes the game. And he's also the kind of person that cheats on, you know, like motion controller. Like, he is that kind of guy, but he still likes the game a lot. Because I know a lot of people cheat on Skyward just because of the controller. It's kind of unfair. Because I hear the, the game is pretty good. I just never played because I didn't have... I didn't have my Wii for a lot of time, you know? Like, I, I only played three games on the Wii. Well, four, I think. Yeah, four. But one of them, I barely played it. And then I... I never got a, a motion control plus, plus, so I wouldn't be able to play it anyways. <laughs> yeah, 
Wait, pre-launch? Like on... On emulator? Like a leak or something? Oh, nice position on the zombie there. I love when that zombie is out of position. And you can go faster there. It's kind of a bed though. Like, I'm kind of going for that bed because this is single segment. I mean, sorry, uh, single episode. So I feel like going for risky stuff. It's fine. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. That's gonna cost some time. I really feel like that door behaves weird sometimes. I got it from a Torin, I'm playing through my Hagui. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, I, I kind of hasn't been in the mood to play a Zelda game, I think. Lately, like, the only thing I, I kind of want to do about Zelda is I kind of want to play uh, Ocarina of Time Randomizer, probably on stream. But I've been having difficulty setting that up. Okay, I'm gonna get hit here. But it's fine. No big deal. You know what I would love to see? An Eternal Darkness randomizer. But that's so far from possible. Nice, sub 7. I'm good with sub 7. You are a fool for trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealot. I remember when I was young, you know, um, we play a lot with my cousins. Uh, games you know and stuff and when we played this game this game was from a cousin actually it wasn't mine but we played on the same house and something that happened is we were three 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 of us were playing eternal darkness mostly at the same time so we decided that each of us will complete a different fate uh like a different color and i i remember choosing Celta. I was so freaked out by those creatures that have no head. <laughs> it was it was like just too much for me when I was young. Like, how is this working? What what the fuck? Why why does it have a head? Why the ones from my causing have heads and mine's done? 